Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show how to deploy a website to Ubuntu server from GitHub. Usually, we use a FTP application like FileZilla to transfer the application to the server and then install it. But instead of doing that, what we are going to do is we will install and set up Git in the server. And then generate a public SSS key for the VPS, which we will save in GitHub. After that, we will clone the repository from GitHub using its SSS key. Here I have a VPS in folder which is Ubuntu as the operating system and where I have already installed Node.js, npm and mongodb. So let's get started. Let's get started. First I will SSS into the server using an application called Putty. Okay, I am in now. To install git, I will run sudo apt install git. To check if the installation is successful, I will check the version by git dash dash version. Now I will change the directory to the home directory. Then I will globally configure the username and email for Git. A server is basically a computer that you have leased from a hosting company like DigitalOcean or Holder and you are operating it remotely using the terminal. So treat it like any other computer. Give your email. Now to generate the SSS key, run the following command sss dash keygen dash t ed two five five one nine dash capital c and with the inverted commas your email id First, it will ask if you are okay with storing the key in the default location. Just press enter if you are okay with that. Then it will ask for a passphrase, give one. Or you can do without giving it also, but it is better to give one. The SSS key will be stored in a file id underscore ed25519.pub in, in the root directory in a folder called .sss by default. Uh, so I will go to the directory in the root folder and then I will pass in the command vim id underscore ed25519.pub this is the file where the key is stored and vim is a text editor that comes pre-installed with ubuntu then copy the sss key go to github then click on settings then click on sss and gpg key in the right and in the left hand panel then give her name to the sss key and paste in the key and click on add sss key now copy the sss key of the repository that you want to install now pass in the command git clone the sss key and the directory name where you want to install the project since it's a first time first time just pass in yes pass the passphrase okay the repository is cloned now now since directory to the project folder Now I will install the application by npm install. This will install all the packages.
now to run the application run node server.js for some it might be index.js or app.js okay the application is running at port 8000 you know the database is connected now let's go to the browser okay i have to do one more thing i have to allow the eftw firewall eftw allow 8000 let's see it again okay the application is up and running now i will install pm2 process manager that will keep on running the application usually what happens if, if you run run it just node and as application the application will stop after some time but to keep on keep the application keep on running you have to install pm2 process manager so npm install process manager pm2 then i will again change the directory to the project folder now i will run the server.js file again but this time it will be pm2 start server.js Okay, the application is running now. Now let me just go to my local machine and I will make some changes to the to my project. I will change the font color from white to orange. Then I will add the changes to the staging area and I will commit those changes. I am in my looking machine okay and then I will push these changes to my github repository git post origin master the origin is the name of the remote repository pass in the passphrase In the terminal, I will fetch those changes and merge them in my uh, server, Ubuntu server. So, git pull origin master. Then enter the passphrase again. Reload the page. Okay, the changes are incorporated. Now, even if you make multiple changes to your project, you can easily keep track of those changes and, and integrate them to your website.